Dylan, great to see you back in the uh, starting lineup. You didn't waste any time making an impact <laughs> on the game, did you? Yeah, no, it was really good feeling to be back in with the lads. Uh, it's been a little while now with my injury, two, three, about two months now. So yeah, just buzzing to be back. Has it been a frustrating time since you uh, signed for the club? Because you haven't really had the chance to get going, have you? Yeah, it's been a slow start. I think you know injuries and my fitness probably not where it had to be due to different reasons. But I feel like. This injury was a time for me to kind of get my fitness back, get back to where I was before and just being able to sprint around the pitch again, which, you know, I've been, yeah, it's been too long, so yeah. But against Schoenfeld, it's like the Dylan De Silva of old. Obviously, you've got a lot of friends in the, amongst the Yellow Army from your spell on loan last season. So just tell us about that. Obviously, if you have got that injury, how frustrating, how that can really restrain you? No, it definitely does because my game's kind of based around um, powerful player, you know, running up and down the pitch and I just felt like with my quad injury it kind of restricted me and it didn't give me probably my full potential to fully sprint and that makes a big difference in games because it's the difference between beating a man and not and you know when I was trying to shoot as well sometimes I'd feel it I just didn't feel right so you know got it checked out um, physios you know done amazing got me all sorted and yeah back 100% now so just ready to push on really. We haven't really had a great chance to actually speak to you since you came back. So just tell us again, what, what was the reason for coming back to play more? Obviously a place that you know pretty well. Obviously. Yeah, no, I loved my time in last season. And um, I think the main reason that I come is the fans, obviously, you don't get this, especially at this level, you don't get this kind of fans. So that was a big reason. Obviously working with Gaffer and Downsy last season, I loved it. They gave me the opportunity when I was 20 to come on loan. And, you know, I'll never forget. And I'm always grateful for the opportunity. And, yeah. You know, the lads obviously, you know, can't complain about them either, so yeah, good players. And you're one of the uh, players that actually has a, obviously a, a song of their own, which you, you know pretty well. As sometimes if, if, if they, the fans want you to be summoned from the bench, you can hear them starting very <laughs> yeah. early on. Yeah, no, I love it, I love it. The fans are great, you know, I feel like I have a good connection with them. Um, and it really does help me, you know, on the pitch when I'm there. And even just hearing them cheering you on when you get the ball, you know, it does make a big difference. So yeah, yeah, love them. Now we've got Dartford away, followed by Eastbourne away. We've been talking earlier on to the gaffer who said that the home form has been so strong. So is it now a simple process to transfer, play more form over to away form? It doesn't always quite work like that, does it? Yeah, it's not as easy as um, said, but I think, um, you know, we've won two on the bounce now. we just got to keep using that confidence and try to get as many points on the board as possible. I think, you know, we're in a good place now, morale's high, and we've just got to, yeah, just keep, keep going, keep pushing. Well, that putting it curse on anything it does look like there's a few players starting to come back and there actually is competition for place all over the field at the moment, which can only be strong and can only help every member of the squad can't it no 100 percent. i feel like competition is key because it helps to push the players are already playing in the starting lineup and the ones who want to try to get into it. and that just creates like a healthy environment i feel like which um helps players not to be comfortable do you know what i mean you always have to be trying to prove yourself every game to get into the starting lineup so i feel like that's the best place you can be having a lot of players in the squad so it's good to see lads coming back from injury now and yeah it's only going to help us really one thing that we don't want to miss out as well is that you are an international footballer with sri lanka you've already had some exciting times with the sri lankan international team tell us a little bit about that yeah i love my time going away you know get to travel the world to play football so i can't complain um and you know it's a proud moment representing my country you know my parents country so yeah, I love it. Um, it's been a little while now since, because of my injury, I couldn't obviously go away. But yeah, looking forward to linking up with them again soon as well. And yeah. And of course, you had your family in attendance at Playmore on Saturday, yeah. so it was no better time to get your first goal of the season. Oh, 100 percent. You know, mum and dad, they've been waiting a long time to watch me play again. So when they heard I was starting, they got on the train straight down to Torquay. And yeah, to score in two minutes, literally the perfect thing I could have done for them. So yeah, they were happy. I was happy. Well, then it's been... Great talking to you, Kane. Great to have you back, and let's hope for a similarly fast start on Saturday. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you.